Hi, welcome back to Science with Go. Today we're going to take a look at Lewis dot diagrams again and another example of polyatomic ions and their drawings. Uh, so now let's take a look at another example, something a little bit more complicated, and that's NO2 minus. So this is the nitrite ion. All right, let's list out all of the different pieces first. So this is one, two, three, four, five. We know that nitrogen has five valence electrons, oxygen has six. And that's from our periodic table. And hopefully you've labeled it with the main group elements so you can see how many valence electrons each one of those main group elements actually has. Five, six, and all right. Now some advice when you guys are actually drawing these Lewis dot diagrams. Um, what you might want to do is go ahead and just put it together first and then add the dots somewhere to figure out, you know, where the extra electron kind of needs to be. And that's how I'm going to do that right for this uh, example. So let me just go ahead and try to put this thing together first. And then after I've um, sort of exhausted all of the different places where the atoms could go okay, and the electrons would line up, then I go ahead and add an electron, which is what is signified right here by the negative sign, to the drawing. And um, that will hopefully you know kind of give me the answer that I need or the drawing or the structure that I need so let me go ahead and line up the nitrogen right here okay and um, actually let's change the color again let's make that black so nitrogen I've got this lone pair up here okay I've got these two dots right here okay and I've got the oxygen right here I'm gonna line this guy up so then it looks like this and this lines up with this one. That's going to bother me, so I need to fix it. There we go. All right. So we've got this that's bonded to that. Let's go ahead and make sure that this right here is boxed and this right here is boxed. So what I did basically is I've lined up both of those atoms right here. So this one right here and this one right here. So now I've got those kind of figured out. I've got one extra electron right there. So now I need to kind of figure out how that other oxygen is going to fit into the picture. Well, let me go ahead and do this. Let me switch this guy around over to here and this electron that's unpaired to be on that side and put it on the left side of the molecule. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. Let me put a box around the ones that are lone pairs array. So this one and this one right here. Right, and I know that I can connect this one to this one. All right, so now here's my molecule, and I've exhausted pretty much all of the uh, unpaired electrons or unshared electrons. Now, remember, this has a negative charge right here. So, where do I put the negative charge? Well, since this dot over here on this oxygen is by itself, why don't I go ahead and just add the extra electron right there and then make that my new lone pair. Awesome. What that does is it makes this a polyatomic ion. The whole thing is negatively charged. And there is my structure, NO2 minus. Okay? All right, let's take a look at another example. BH2 plus. All right, well, let's write out all the different components again. So boron has three valence electrons, so one, two, three. And there's two hydrogens, one, two. Again, the technique that we're trying to do is draw out of the Lewis dot diagram until we've exhausted all of the different ways that we can draw and, or connected all of the different unpaired electrons. And then make the adjustment with the charge, okay? whatever the charge is. So let's take a look at this one, boron. I'm going to connect this hydrogen to this one right here. Okay, so I'm done with this one, I'm done with this one, and then I'm going to put another hydrogen right here with another dot right there. Okay, so I've exhausted pretty much all of the places where I can form bonds. And then let's take a look at the charge. It says a plus charge. So a plus charge means that I've actually taken out an electron. So, well, that makes it easy. I've got one extra electron right there, so let me just go ahead and remove that. Now, in molecular geometry, you'll understand that these bonding areas will actually maximize the distances between them. So they're going to try to be 180 degrees away from each other. So let me just go ahead and redraw this. 
this is BH2 with a plus charge. All right, let's take a look at another example, okay, on another page. Why don't we look at this ion right here, NH with a 2 minus charge, All right? So there's two atoms, nitrogen, there's a lone pair right on top right here, and then there's a hydrogen with one dot. Now, let's see if you guys can figure this out. If it's got a 2 minus charge, do I add 2 dots or do I remove 2 dots? Well, let's figure that out in a little bit. Let's go ahead and connect this and then figure that out in a second. So here is my connection between the nitrogen and the hydrogen. Now again, let's ask a question. If I have a 2 negative charge, am I adding 2 dots or am I removing 2 of the dots? Well, Remember that each one of these dots is negative, and if it's two negative, that means that I've actually added two extra dots to the molecule. So I need to add two dots. Well, that seems obvious. I'm going to add it right here, and I'm going to add one right there. And let me put a box around this one and a box around this one. And the reason why I added it over there is because those two electrons over here and over here needed to be bonded to something or needed to be paired up with another electron. That makes this entire molecule a two negative charge because of the two extra dots that we added. Okay? All right, take a look at one last example. Okay? One last example. All right, we have the ubiquitous hydronium ion. So we have an oxygen. Okay? six valence electrons around it, and then we have three hydrogen atoms. One, two, three. All right, now how do we put these puzzle pieces together? Okay, well, again, let's go ahead and try to put them all together first until we can't put it together anymore, and then figure out where we need to go ahead and make some adjustments. So I've got the oxygen, so this is done. I've done two of the hydrogens, so both of these are done. I've got an extra hydrogen over here. I need to figure out, hmm, where am I going to put this thing? All right, well, the plus sign tells me that I take out one electron. So what I'll do is, over here on this side, I'm going to go ahead and take out one of those electrons. So then it's not a lone pair anymore. Well, that makes it easy, because then if I put the hydrogen right here, and I line it up right there, then I can connect those dots right there. And there it is. That is my hydronium ion structure. Now, the only thing that we're missing now is we need to make sure we put the brackets around it like this and put the plus sign to indicate that this is a polyatomic ion. The whole thing has a plus one charge. All right, hopefully that covers it, and I'll see you guys in class.